It's worth the drive. A good time is just a short drive away, and summer is the best time of the year to jump in your car and discover restaurants, museums, bookstores, and places outside of your usual haunts. Our department really looks at the community and um, creates programs and opportunities for engagement with the museum. And there's a variety of ways we do that. Inside Out, which I believe Southfield had last year, is a key part of our um, community relations program. So those type of programs. We're really looking for opportunities to provide access to community members in ways that they haven't in the past. One of the things with the Millage is we have free admission to the museum for any resident in the Tri-County area. Um, there is some ticketing costs for some of the special exhibitions, but general admission to the museum is free for all residents every single day. Coming in the fall, I think, is a really exciting exhibition called Watch Me Move. It's the very first animation exhibition that we've ever hosted, and it's coming to us from London. So we are very excited for that. That's going to be a really exciting show. Some of the other things our education department or learning and interpretation is working on are um, teacher-specific activities, looking at opportunities to connect teachers with our collection. So we have created a whole series of teacher workshops and teacher open houses where we'll bring teachers in for a reception, a tour of the collection, and really looking at opportunities to connect, for example, these wonderful murals with the curriculum guidelines um, and the curriculum in the classroom. We are seen nationwide as a, as a model for a visitor-centered museum. And in fact, um, what that entails is, is making this place very comfortable for people. As you can see, there's some people behind me that are using iPad apps um, to really learn more about these beautiful murals and um, people can check it out at the table at the desk right over there and use that for as long as they want while they're here and it, it tells you all of the detail about the imagery um, in these murals and that is just one of the many interpretations and interpretive um, strategies that we have here in the museum to make this a very welcoming place for people. Um, each of the galleries when you come in and you do a tour of the galleries has a wall panel we call it the big idea so walking into a gallery anybody even if you don't have a tour guide with you can learn a little bit about the general theme of the gallery and in each of those galleries there's a variety of interactives. In some cases they're flip books where you can flip up a panel and learn a little bit more about a painting or in some galleries there's a, um, an electronic um, book that you can actually flip through like you're reading a book. This is one of those interpretives that we were talking about earlier um, about a way to engage our um, visitors in, in a way to understand what was going on. This gallery here talks about um, art of really French tableware during the um, late 18th century. Well, this gives an example of a, a French aristocrat that takes three hours to eat a meal. What we're seeing now here on this table is the, um, the setting of the table for the first course. And this piece here called an apern is multi-leveled and you can see it in this display right here and it was used throughout the meal. We, we try very hard to make this a place that's for everyone. Um, in the galleries we have things for kids like I Spies. Kids are really used to doing I Spies and reading I Spy books, getting little hints and clues and then they can flip up a little panel and, and look for it in the gallery. So it's a way to engage um, kids. And then we have um, also some little pamphlets and little tours that parents can bring their kids along, you know, 10 things to do with, the, with your children in the museum. There's a lot of different activities. And then on weekends, which I really love, um, we have drawing in the galleries on Friday nights and on um, Sundays. And literally there's easels set up where people can test their sketching skills. And on the weekends as well, we have drop-in workshops where our studio artists can actually um, help you make a little project. So these are all things that make this place really accessible for all levels of people. The DIA's you know, mission is to make personal connections with art, and my personal connection is really deep and really profound. My great-grandmother um, was a Polish immigrant that came here um, just after the turn of the century, and she worked here as a night cleaning person. And she knew Diego Rivera, she had met him, during this time and he, it, the story goes, he loved the character in her face and he used her as a little model for one of the, the um, people. She's actually right there with the black hat and the white cross, that's my babsha, her name is Mary O'Gurek. And what I think is very cool about it is um, Rivera was really interested in uh, the workers 
and many of the workers that worked on staff here in the museum, including the gardener and a variety of different people, were used as models. And so my grandmother has that, that history. So that's my personal connection with, with the Rivera murals. To find other Worth the Drive destinations, go to cityofsouthfield.com slash departments slash cable 15 featured programs. <music>